Hi, hi, hello. It is so good to see you again. We are back in my kitchen. Today, we are going to be cooking some mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, so, so yummy. And some crispy roasted potatoes. I love a potato that is crispy on the outside and mushy in the inside. Oh, so, so good. So we're gonna be making those. We're also gonna be chopping up lots of vegetables for the week. But I just wanna tell you that you are blessed and highly favored and today is a great day for you. You can do it. Yay, I'm so excited. Let's get started. These are the veggies we are chopping up today some zucchini and some yellow squash, Italian peppers, my favorite peppers, and two Roman tomatoes. So let's start by cutting up the vegetables. I cut this up for my salads. I try to have a salad a day during the week. I try to eat healthy during the week. And then on the weekends, I try to eat like fun and enjoyable foods. That is the balance that works best for me. Kimberly from the Wads taught me how to cut this. You cut the pepper in half like this, and then you can just peel up the top. Isn't that such a great idea? Then you get more pepper. You don't have to throw that much of it out. So yeah, on my salads I like to have these Italian peppers and these taste so good like I prefer these personally over bell peppers does anyone have Italian peppers I think they're called a different name too but I don't know what that name is they're not spicy but they do have a twang to it at the same time if that makes sense and I just really like them they're very crunchy and crispy so I use these instead of bell peppers when I'm cooking at home we have this farmer's market at my town I live in New Jersey and it's really interesting because it Oh, hold on a sec. Done with the peppers. Moving on to tomatoes. The farmer's market's really cool because it's actually indoors and it really only sells fruits and vegetables, some breads and other things, but mostly fruits and vegetables. And it's so cheap. It's like insane. You gotta eat the food quickly, but it is such a great deal and I'm super thankful for it. I'm cutting these tomatoes up and the peppers and everything up and then I'm going to actually dice them. I have this cool dicing machine that you're gonna see me use shortly. But yeah, how are you doing? What's new with you? I just wanna let you know you are so welcome here. Can I just tell you that you are welcome here and I'm so glad you're here. And finally, we are going to do this red onion. We had the cousin's Christmas party. Last time I met, last time we met, we were cooking stuff for my cousin's Christmas party. Can I tell you, it was so much fun. I was so thankful. My, I live in Jersey. So the family who came was from Long Island. And I don't know about you, but if anyone lives in this area, New Jersey, Jersey and Long Island could be like a million miles away in some ways. There's just a lot of bridges to go through and traffic is almost guaranteed, even though I always believe for favor that we're not going to hit that much. Thank you, Jesus. So I, was ju I just really appreciated that they took time to come and celebrate Christmas at my house for this cousin's Christmas party. My grandpa was there and my aunt and my uncle were there, my cousin, and it was just so nice. It was so special. So nice. So special. So this is done. Now it's the time to take out. Now it's time to take out this amazing dicer. Mandy in the making inspired me to get this dicer. And can I tell you, so amazing, such a great thing to get. Oh, I actually didn't want to cut this. I was going to just cut it fresh, but oh well. So you just cut it. I do like to cut it in smaller pieces so it's less effort to like push it through whatever this metal thing is, but it, it's just great. I just love it. I mean, I guess they're semi even, even, evenly cut, but they're small pieces and I like small pieces when I have my salads. And then it's nice when everything is pre cut because it's easier for me to make my salad. Yeah, look at that. That's all done. And then this other girl from YouTube, can you tell I watch YouTube a lot? She showed me that you store your vegetables in these mason jars and they last longer. And I do, I will say they last longer. And best of all, at least for the onion, the onion does not stink up the whole fridge. Oh, wait a sec, I have another tip. A funnel for the wind so I can just stick it all in. But yeah, her name is Megan and she is called the grocery lady. And like, Megan, thank you. You have been such an inspiration to me. Let's do a, what is that called? Let's do a collab one day. What do you think? It would be so cool if she was watching this. So I just stick my onions in, get these little pieces off and then screw the jar on. And that's it, onions cut. Now it's time to do the tomatoes. So when we were at the farmer's market today, they had the cotton candy grapes. I'd never had them before. Have you had the cotton candy grapes before? Um, they are so, 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 so good. They taste like cotton candy. Actually, it's kind of weird how much they taste like cotton candy. Like, is that really a grape? Like, was that created naturally or was that, was a cotton candy grape like created in a lab? If you know, let me know. Cause I'm very curious. Cause it's just kind of, it's great that they taste like cotton candy, but it's also kind of creepy cause it's not cotton candy. It's a grape. Um, so let me know what you think. Ooh. 
You are blessed and highly favored, cherished and adored, worthy and loved, forgiven and righteous, satisfied with long life, walking in divine health and wholeness, wealthy and prosperous, fruitful and victorious, full of truth and never deceived. As a born again believer in Jesus Christ, you live a long life of exceedingly abundant salvation, divine health, wholeness, wisdom, revelations, and blessings of God, fruits, gifts, and power of the Holy Spirit in your spirit, soul, body, finances, possessions, and relationships, and you go to heaven after 120 years. Tomatoes done. Let's jar them up. Jarred up, time to go in the fridge. Next are the Italian peppers. Time to chop. All chopped. All jarred, time to put in the fridge. Whoops, almost forgot. I wanna chop up these zucchinis. So is there a difference between zucchini and yellow squash? Like a significant difference? And if it is, what is it? Or I guess even if it's a tiny difference. So these I'm using to make this zucchini Parmesan bake, which I just got from Julia Pacheco's cookbook. If you like watching YouTube cooking shows and you haven't seen Julie Pacheco, go check her out. Now let's chop these up. And later this week, I will make this zucchini Parmesan bake. I think it's gonna be really delicious. I'm not normally big on zucchini. You know what zucchini, I don't dislike the taste at all. I don't like it when it gets like really mushy. I don't know, I just don't like the texture, but I do like zucchini and I trust Julia. So I think it's gonna be an absolutely delicious recipe. I will keep you guys updated. One nice thing about this zucchini is like, look at how fast you can chop this. Oh, I feel so powerful. Oh, thank you Jesus for this chopper. It really makes my life easier. All right, so these are going to the fridge until I make this Parmesan zucchini bake. So for the crispy potatoes, we are going to need potatoes, kosher salt, baking soda, rosemary, salt and pepper to taste, garlic powder. For mashed potatoes, we're gonna need potatoes, salt and pepper to taste, butter, 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 heavy cream. I'm going to make the mashed potatoes and the crispy potatoes at the same time. We will see how this goes. What size do I want these to be? I'm gonna cut them the size that I want the crispy potatoes to be, just like that. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't need five, like potatoes come in five pound bags and I don't need five pounds of mashed potatoes or crispy potatoes. So I figured if I buy the five pound and then I split it in half, like that would make it very doable. What do you guys do? Like when you buy a five pound bag of potatoes, do you just use as you need? Do you do like a batch cook of something? Oh yeah, I did wash these, but I do keep the skin on because one, it takes a lot of effort to peel them. And two, I don't mind the, I don't mind the skin at all. And there's a lot of nutrients in it. I don't mind having skin on my mashed potatoes or my crispy potatoes. Kind of makes it more fun, to be honest. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart down in my heart to stay. I have the joy of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. So at the cousin's Christmas party, we had my easy lasagna from my, my easy lasagna from my YouTube channel. And we also had penny alla vodka. I made it myself and I was just like, yay God, I was so impressed. I love penny alla vodka with prosciutto in it. There's just a, a certain way that they make Penny alla vodka on Long Island. I'm originally from Long Island. And I just couldn't find it anywhere in Jersey. So I Googled and I prayed to God and I found this guy um, and he says his style to modern grandma. I forget his name, but he had a recipe and I followed it. It was so good. So we had those two things. It was so delicious. And we were supposed to have Fiesta Lime Chicken as well. But what happened was I also had friend, family from Staten Island coming and they couldn't come because they all got sick. So I was like, okay, well, we don't need that much food. So I did I did make a freezer meal for the Fiesta Lime Chicken, but I didn't cook it in the crock pot because I didn't think it was needed. And good news, I have a church potluck coming up on December 23rd. So I think I'm gonna bring it there, yay. I love sharing food with people. This is how I'm cutting the potato, down this way, down that way, and then in half. I don't know if that's like the proper way, but that's how I'm doing it. Let me try it again. So you take your potato, you cut it in half, then you cut it in half, both ways, and then you flip them over, chop, chop. And I think that's the size I want. Whew, five pounds of potatoes cut, yay me, yay God, most importantly, let's cook these potatoes. Time to add the water. Kimberly from the Wad said to add cold water to the potatoes, that makes them cook more evenly. So I'm gonna do, oh, you can't see. So I'm gonna do what she said, follow her advice. I don't normally fill up my water using these gallon jugs, but I had this leftover from the party. 
so I decided to use it up. I keep, I buy water like this for a party because we use filtered water and it takes too long when it's a party to like fill up filtered water for like, you know, for like every single thing you're doing for a party. Nice and high. Oh, and preheat the oven. For the crispy potatoes, you're supposed to have kosher salt in them and baking soda, but you're not for the mashed potatoes, but I'm cooking them at the same time. So I'm putting in salt and baking soda for the amount of five potatoes and hopefully it doesn't negatively affect the mashed potatoes. I'll let you know. Half a teaspoon of baking soda and stir and cover. While those potatoes are boiling, I'm going to be making a fancy, I don't know, thing to do the oven roasted potatoes in. One, two, three tablespoons of olive oil. So good. These are gonna make it so crispy. Crispy, crispy, crispy. I love crispy potatoes. One teaspoon of dried rosemary, which can I tell you, I just love rosemary, especially on potatoes. Oh, so good. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic powder is definitely like my MVP spice in the kitchen and we will stir this together. It's a great time to practice patience while you're waiting for your potatoes to boil. Come on potatoes, you can do it. Go team, yay God. Ooh, it's starting to boil. Also, I stopped reheating the oven because it's going to reach temperature before the potatoes boil. Ooh, we are boiling. Now we're going to a boil and we will let these guys boil until they're a little mushy. You put a fork in it and it, it splits easily, I think is what they say. Oh, it's really getting bubbly. Here we go, they're ready. Let's go drain them. So they are drained and back in the pot. Kim from the Wads also told me to do that. She's like my cooking mentor. I'm just gonna put it on low to get the rest of the water out. So now I'm going to put half of them in here. This is for the mashed potatoes. And now I am gonna preheat my oven. It is time, yay. All right, these are done, put them to the side. Now we'll pour these guys in. Now it says to go like this until the outside gets like those crispies. Oh yeah, so fun. I love those crispies. So, whoops, I forgot to film this, but I did pour that olive oil, garlic, rosemary mixture onto these potatoes, and then I mixed it in. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm mixing that olive oil mixture onto these delicious potatoes. And I just want to tell you, keep going. Whatever you're doing, what's ever going on in your life, keep going. The power of God as a born-again believer in Jesus Christ lives inside of you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now we are going to put these on the parchment paper. Ah. What is your favorite way to make a potato? Do you like mashed? Do you like them roasted like this? Do you like them a different way? I would love to know. And if you have a family favorite recipe, like link it down below. I love me a good potato. Season with salt and pepper. So I put them in an oven then that was preheated to 450 degrees. And after about 20 minutes, I flipped them with a spatula and cooked them for about another 40 minutes. They're delicious. Next up, mashed potatoes. Oh, and you might be wondering, like, what are these recipes for? So the mashed potatoes are going to be for, well, actually, I'm not sure what they're going with, but these are the two options. I made a absolutely delicious, well, I didn't make it yet, but I made a freezer meal for a pot roast. I think it's the Pioneer Woman or Ray, one of those two. Um, I think that's the same person actually. So I have her pot roast meal in a freezer bowl, not a freezer bowl, a freezer bag. And oh, hold on a sec, I'm adding in one stick of butter. So delicious. And then the other thing is I'm making a cooked roasted chicken for Christmas day and I'm putting some of the stuffing from Thanksgiving. I did a bake with me. Oh, and I didn't even record, but it is the most amazing stuffing. It's my family recipe and it's so easy. It's literally butter, carrots, celery, onions, and like eggs. It's so good. You wouldn't believe me unless you try it. So one of those will have the crispy potatoes. One of those meals will have the crispy potatoes and one of those meals will have the mashed potatoes. Hmm, which one should we decide? So now I'm gonna scrape the sides and add in some heavy cream. Heavy cream. Wow, those look really good. Can I tell you, these are the most delicious potatoes. So, so good. Just gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper and they just have oh, such a delicious taste. I really recommend you try these potatoes. If you love butter, these potatoes are free. So first I'm gonna take the potatoes that are in the bowl out and transfer them to their final resting place. And now I'm gonna whip this on high to get the rest of the, the potatoes off the whisk. Oh yeah. 
so cool. So delicious, thank you, Jesus. So it's one stick of butter, two and a half pounds of potatoes, and a quarter cup of heavy cream salt and pepper to taste, so good. So I'm gonna stop there, wrap up our cook with me today. I will insert footage here of all of the things that I made like the final, the big reveal, especially the potatoes. Those are the roasted potatoes. Those are cooking in the oven. I also wanted to say that the potatoes, both types, the mashed and the roasted, I'm putting them in freezer bags and putting them in my freezer downstairs and I'll defrost them for Christmas. I pre-cook and freeze a lot of the foods because I don't like to cook on Christmas day. I like to relax and enjoy myself, but I also want fresh food. So this is what I do. I cook it beforehand, freeze it, and then just defrost it. So Jesus loves you and me, and there's nothing we can do about it. What great news. If you like this video, if you're still watching, congratulations. Give it a thumbs up. And would you consider subscribing? I would love to have you join our YouTube family. Bye. You are blessed and highly favored. Keep going. You can do it. Today's a great day for you.